You should have just completed your exam for module one and know that we are beginning module two. We will cover breast cancer surgery and reconstruction as well as cancer treatment in this module. With breast cancer, we're gonna start with the simplest of surgical procedures and move on to the more aggressive. So a lumpectomy is when the cancerous breast tissue along with a rim of normal tissue or a clean or clear margin uh, is done and then it's typically followed by radiation to wipe out any cancerous cells that are left behind and normally <clears throat> with a breast conserving surgery such as a lumpectomy they do the radiation as an extra precaution so they're less aggressive with the surgery more aggressive with the treatment in a partial or segmental mastectomy they remove a segment or a wedge of tissue kind of like the shape of a piece of pie as well as the lining or the fascia over the chest muscle and under the tumor. And usually some axillary lymph nodes under the armpit are removed as well. And in almost all cases, there will be some radiation therapy that's done following surgery. In a total or simple mastectomy, it removes the entire breast and usually a few lymph nodes in the breast tissue, so not necessarily in the axillary area, but realize that every surgeon, every hospital, every state, there's so many disparities that you can't just go by what I tell you on the slide. These are the general rules of thumb, but it's always best to ask exactly, you know, where is your incision? Where did you have lymph nodes removed from? In a skin sparing mastectomy, most of the breast tissue is removed, but most of the breast skin is saved to hold the shape of the reconstructed breast. And an incision is usually made around the areola to do so. Sometimes it is necessary to make another incision that extends down or to the side.